The overseer explained to her the history of the Order of the Monks of the Sword. All legends begin and end with the slaying of the God of the Land by the hero Arkor. With the God Slayer Sword, he brought an end to God, just as he brought about his own end. Centuries later, the God Slayer was used by Tarin Arkor, the Theocrat, as the source of his power. A pure descendant of Arkor's bloodline, the Theocrat was weak, and the sword thirsted for his blood. He kept alive the bloodline of Arkor, and sacrificed all women of the bloodline to the sword's appetites. The men of the bloodline of Arkor were declared sacred. The Theocrat gave his blessing to the monks of the sword, and protected them within this monastery. Eight years ago, at the time of the Second Rebellion, 
forces marched upon the citadel of a theocracy led by one known as the Scarred Outcast. For the second time in the annals of the heretic kingdoms, the people of Corwen rose up to overthrow the rightful ruling power, bent upon the destruction of Tarin Arkor and all he stood for. But before the aggressors had even reached the gates of the palace, Tarin's chancellor slew his master, the theocrat, with his own blade. His motives are lost to history. The chancellor gave the godslayer to the monks of the sword, charging them with the duty that they had been prepared for, to guard the sword against theft or destruction. It is a duty they discharged honorably until this very day. Seal the dream world rift in the cathedral. 